Hey, Prime 5 Math Prodigies, this is Coach Disciple with your daily dose of math mastery. I have my Theo here, here. Very good morning to you. And right now, we're going to do some exciting math stuff. Yeah, remember? Yesterday's question was a little bit difficult. I'm trying to challenge you a bit here. But after we check, we get challenged, what happens is we grow. And when we grow, we get better. Remember, every day, in every way, we're getting better and better. All right? So, the question for yesterday was Mr. Tay had 115 red pens and blue pens all together. After selling half of the blue pens and buying another 20 red pens, he had the same number of blue pens and red pens. How many blue pens and red pens did he have at first? Okay, so for the answers, for all those math geniuses out there, math prodigies, 25 red and 90 blue. Did you get it right? If you got it right, you know what I'm going to do right now. Raise your hand. You are a math prodigy. Good job. Okay? Now, for those of you who didn't get it right, no worries. We're going to get it right now. Okay? It's okay if we get it wrong the first time. But the second, third, and fourth, and fifth time, we're going to get it right. And on the exam, we're going to get it much more better. Okay? We're going to get it right. So, let's look at this question. There's a few tricks they're trying to trick you into. Okay? Let me just give you... A little bit. Let us do the first steps first. We circle the numbers. 115 red pens and blue pens all together. Yeah? After selling half, oops, I got enough space. <laughs> 115 red pens and blue pens all together. After selling half of the blue and buying another 20 red pens, he had the same number, same number, oh, this is the biggest clue here. Same number of blue pens and red pens. How many blue pens and red pens did he have at first? Now, let me show you how to do this. When you ask these kind of questions, yes, these are all clues, but the key is this. Because when you draw it on a model, you can understand how it looks like. So, first off, I want you to just simply draw red and blue. And understand that they are both the same number. So, when they are the same number, their models will look exactly what? Correct. Exactly the same. Okay? I know this is not exactly the same. My, my drawing sucks. <laughs> okay? Now, what he said was, what this question said was, after selling half of the blue pens... So, it is supposed to be half or one? Correct. This is after, by the way. Eh? This is half. So, in order for you to get the original, you must do what? You must correct. You must times two of it. Good job. Okay? Times two of it. And, let's look at the second clue. Second clue is, he bought another 20 red pens. So, after is the same as the red. But, before that, was it the same? No, before that, it was lesser. So before that, what was it? Before that, it was 20 less or 20 more. Think about it. Mr. Tay bought another 20 red pens and then it became more. So it's supposedly less before. So before, it actually looked a bit like this. And what is this thing over here? What is this thing over here? The one that I'm drawing here? Right, good job. It's actually 20. Ah, now with this in mind, Look at the question again. The clue said 115 red pens and blue pens all together at first. Hmm. Good job. All you have to do is you have to draw this. Because this is the same as this, correct? So this is another 20. And since it's double, the other side will also have another 20. And all together, if you were to add it up, it equals to what? What's the number here? Good job. 115. Ah, now that we got the model, everything becomes easier, doesn't it, right? So, for the working, how do we do this? Now, first step is we need to find out what one of these equals to, because these are the same everywhere. So, how do we get it, gentlemen? I mean, uh, math prodigies, how do we get it? Okay, look at this. This is 115 minus what? 20 minus 20 minus 20. 20 minus 20 minus 20. Okay, what is that equal to? Quick, 150 minus 20, minus 40, minus 60, 75. Good job. You are a math prodigy. Awesome. 75. Now, 75 equals to how many units? 1, 2, 3. Oh, no, I have no place. I'm going to erase this very quickly. Um, okay, let's draw here, right? 75 equals to 3 units. Okay, look up here. 3 units equals to 75. 1 unit equals to what? Good job! 75 divided by 3. So you got to do your long division and you will find out that the answer is 25. 
So if one unit is 25, now how do you find out what um, number of blue pens and red pens there was in the first place? Oh no, I think I just mixed it up. Um, hold on. Oh my, okay. If you were confused, I'm so sorry because this is supposed to be blue and this is supposed to be red. Right? Yeah. So if you want to find out this, anyway, the previous working were all the same except that this is a blue and this is red. Okay, if you don't understand, go, go back and watch it again, alright? So, blue and red. So how many red is there? There is one unit of red, not plus 20 because this was after. Remember, he bought another 20 after. So, this 25 is the answer for red. So, red, uh, I have no place to write, but red equals to 25. You can write here on top here, top left hand corner, can you see? Yep. And blue, how many blue was there? There was... 1 unit, 2 units, plus 20, plus 20. So, it's 2 units times 25 is what? Equals to 50. Good job. 50 plus 20 plus 20. And what do you get? You get 90. And that is the answer for blue pens. Okay? Got it? Good job. You are a math prodigy. I hope I don't, get, I hope I don't confuse you. Slowly follow this and you will understand. Alright, my math prodigies, good job. Now, today's question for the day. Oh, it looks a bit difficult as well. No, don't worry. Don't worry, okay? Once you read and get the clues right, you will get it right. So, Susan had twice as many white beads as black beads. After using 40 white beads and 5 black beads to make a bracelet, she had thrice, what's thrice? Three times as many black beads as white beads left. So, how many black beads did she have at first? Good question. Hmm, remember, victory loves preparation. I know it's tough, but the more you prepare, the easier it gets. Remember, the more the more I do, the easier it gets. Remember, victory loves preparation. This is Coach Saiful signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.